guys, Bong here. Um, don't really do Tarkov videos, but I'm doing this one for Ghost. Hope you guys like it. If you do like it, I might try to find something else, a little niche to make a few more videos for this game. I love this game. I love the community. I love you guys. I uh, hope you find some sort of use out of this, and uh, I hope I change at least a few people's opinion on the uh, the meme to Meta Ketter. And here we go. Without further ado, let me explain why. Now the Ketter, first thing I want to point out to you is it's bugged. The uh, stats on this thing are bugged. You can close it. You can get level 2. You can get level 3 um, mastery with it. You can upgrade your recoil control. It doesn't matter. These stats will never move. Um, in the game, you're getting the benefit of your skills. I'm almost positive. This number just never moves. You can fold it. You can unfold it. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to point that out to you if you guys get to look at it in depth and, and start you know, wondering why. I don't know if anybody's pointed this out, and uh, feel free to submit a ticket or, or whatever it is that uh, we're supposed to do when we find things like this. But uh, let's get to the 9 mils and the comparison on the Ketter. Uh, these are pretty much the four 9 mils you're going to be seeing if you see someone rocking a 9 mil. Uh, the MP9, the first uh, drawback is it has low availability to high capacity magazines. You're going to be rocking 20 round magazines or you're going to be spending like 30k on the flea market trying to get these mags or you're going to have to max out traders. So that almost instantly disqualifies this gun uh, from the contest. Now if you don't care about 20 round mags, uh, that that's fine. To make the silence, it costs quite a bit. The silencer for this gun is uh, is fairly expensive and it again is hard to get. That really honestly disqualifies this gun from like a main gun situation. Like you might run it every once in a while, but I doubt too many people run this as their main gun and their main kit. Uh, with the reasons the MP9 is disqualified out of the way, uh, MP5, um, there's nothing wrong with MP5. It's a very good gun. It's a very stable platform. Um, you can take it as is, freight would handle dives, peacekeeper trade or you can uh, pimp it out you can spend two three hundred rubles on or two or three hundred thousand rubles on this if you want to make it just super elite same thing with mpx uh only difference is they have this one has a uh, slower fire rate than the ketter and the mp5 is uh matches with the ketter now the pp is super cheap you can get this one right here from mechanic for uh, about 55k rubles uh you have to buy a gold roller and trade it they're going like 55 60 right now as we're making this video uh, you don't have to have one this nice and uh, comparatively in price they're about by the time you get done putting the little odds and ends on they're about the same price but what will get you killed with the MP well I'm sorry with the PP is its fire rate its fire rate is, is 700 doesn't do it justice it seems like it's slower than that which makes it a little more accurate but you will die from lack of, of downrange firepower so with the glare, with the uh, with the points of the actual delivery system pointed out, let's let's really take a look at what we're delivering because that's what makes, in my opinion, the Ketter a more superior face gun than the nine mil. It, we're going to do a few things based on budget, and then we're just going to do a few things based on pure math here. Uh, AP 63 is twelve hundred dollars a round. That's going to be your budget armor piercing nine mil ammo. That's what you can, if you're using a 9 mil gun, you're probably going to be shooting that, or you're going to be shooting 7 and 31. But let's just assume you're shooting 6 and 3. 6 and 3 has 52 damage, it has 30 pin, it has 48 armor damage, it has 5% frag chance, and it has 20% ricochet chance. Fragmentation chance is the chance that the bullet breaks up into smaller pieces and does more damage. Ricochet chance is what's the chance that round's going to bounce. If you're shooting at heads, you want a low ricochet chance. A 20% ricochet chance is not low. If you're wearing a full, a heavy ricochet chance helmet, plus the 20% ricochet chance, that round's probably going to bounce the first time. Now, if we look over at the Ketter, PBM ammo, it has 40 damage. It's 12 less than, than your 6 and 3, but there's no body part that's going to get blacked out from 6 and 3 that would you know, otherwise would have been saved by PPM. So either one hits, it's not a single tap blackout. Whereas your 6 and 3 has 30 pin, PPM only has 28. Armor damage has 30, whereas 6 and 3 has 48. But this is where it really starts to get spicy. Your fragmentation chance with a PPM round is 16%. 
that's over three times as high as your six and three. Your ricochet chance is nine percent. That's less than half a six and three round. That means it bounces less than half as much as a six and three round. All these things coupled together make it a much better round. And the price of the round is only 121 rubles from Prapper. You can get 350 on a trade. And then if you buy it on market, it's only about $300, $400 a round if you're forced to buy that much of it. To me, guys, that's what makes this gun a superior gun to a 9 mil, And that's why I run it. I hope you guys look at it from a different light now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thumbs up, likes. Remember, uh, all love goes to Ghost. <laughs> He's got this conversation really going. Ketter is not a, a leg metal weapon. It is a face metal weapon. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you later. Peace.